Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about functions, but we're going to be able to pass in variables so the function can be a little bit more dynamic than just calling something that prints something out. So, let's see, let's create a new file. And what I want to do right now is I want to be able to run a program that asks the user for their name and their ID. And the ID doesn't really matter, just give it like a one or two digit number and I want to be able to print back to the screen your name is blank and your ID is whatever you put in so to get this going we need to make a definition of a function so we're going to say def and let's just say get info and inside of these parentheses right now I'll end it with a colon so we'll go back into these parentheses right here and I want them to be able to pass in an argument and what we can do is we can just set some variable name and I'm just going to call it name for right now. I'll just show you how to pass in one uh, argument for right now. And we're going to go down, tab over, and I can say print. And inside of these print statement, I can say hello and then concatenate that with the variable name that we passed in. So let's go down here and call this function. But we want to prompt the user to enter their name. So the way we can do that is we can say username. So we're setting a variable right there and we're giving it the value input. And inside of input we can put in a string that prompts the user to write something. So what we can say is hello, what's your name? What's your name? There we go. And an input is a predefined function in Python that we've gone over before. So you know that this will return the value that is entered after this string right here is executed. And it will be thrown into this variable named username. Now what we can do is throw in username into this get info function. So the way we do that is we just say get info. And inside of these parentheses we're just going to pass in username. And name is just a placeholder, it's a variable, so this isn't too important. The only thing that uh, this is used for is it's going to, like I said, be a placeholder for whatever we put in here. So name, if I passed in Mike, it'll go down here and it'll still be used as Mike, and we can print it out. So the variable we call down here, which is username, is another variable that holds something and we can just pass in a variable and it'll change to this variable right here and you can have them as the same name but just to show you that they're not the same variable I wanted to use a different name so now what we can do is we can save this file save and we gotta save it as something so I'll just say hello dot pi and you don't have to add the dot py if down here it says dot py that will automatically be saved like that so save and now we can run it in our shell so let's say run module it says hello what's your name I'll just say Mike and it says hello Mike alright so there we go on that one now let's make it to where we can pass in multiple arguments and all you have to do is separate them by commas so now I'm gonna say name and ID Let's change this up a little bit. I'm going to say name, and then we're going to concatenate a string on there and say name has an ID of, and we'll concatenate ID. Here we go. So now we're going to have to have, let's have two prompts. So we'll say hello, what's your name? And then we'll say user ID equals input. And let's say, what is your ID? Right. And it'll be a not, it'll be a string that's returned with this input function. But since we're printing out a string up here anyways, the number we don't really have to specify it as an int or anything like that. So it should still work. So now we're going to pass in username and user ID, and it should give us what we want. It should print out. Mike has an ID of, and I'll just put in 9. So let's save that and run it in our shell. So it's run module or F5 for a shortcut. Run, say what's your name, Mike, what's your ID, 9. Mike has an ID of 9. So now we can customize our programs quite a bit 
when we can define our own functions. So in the next tutorial, we're going to talk about returning values and instead of just printing them out. So thank you guys for watching and please subscribe below.